Hey folks, Paul Yu here from the Cloud Native Advocacy team with a quick video on Gateway API and Istio on AKS. Now, this is a companion video to a blog post that I recently published on the AKS blog site titled Using AKS Manage Istio External Ingress Gateway with Gateway API. I know that's a mouthful, but try to be as descriptive as possible. So here I actually go through this step by step. Now, if you haven't heard about the Gateway API project yet, it's a new Kubernetes API that allows you to manage resources in an extensible role-oriented and protocol-aware manner. You can head over to the Gateway API docs and read all about it. The cool thing about Gateway API is that it basically standardizes the way you interact with Ingress and Service Mesh across vendor implementations. If you've worked with Ingress products in the past, like the Nginx Ingress controller, you'll know how cumbersome it is to deal with customized routing behaviors. It's basically annotations all the way down. So there's an annotation for pretty much everything that you want to do. But with Gateway API, it becomes a little more intuitive and allows you to delegate certain functionality to app developers. You see, the idea of separating concerns between infrastructure providers cluster operators, and app developers. Cloud providers like Azure can create the gateway class while cluster operators create the gateway. And then your app developers can leverage the gateway and create as many HTTP routes or TLS routes as needed. And so in this demo, I'll show you how you can leverage AKS's Manage Istio Ingress Gateway as the gateway class, and then use that to configure gateways and routes for your application. Let's see how all that works. So here's what we'll do in the demo. I scroll down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first provision an AKS cluster, then enable the manage Istio external ingress gateway, install the gateway API CRDs, and then deploy a new gateway resource, and then new routes for our application. So let's go. First, I need a few local variables. Then I'll create a resource group and a cluster. And note here that I'm using uh, Kubernetes version 130 and enabling the Azure Service Mesh or the Managed Istio and setting the revision of the Azure Service Mesh to basically Istio 122. This can take a few minutes to provision. And so we'll just fast forward from here and we'll be back in a second. Now with the AKS cluster provision, I need to enable the Istio ingress gateway. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're all set up. Let's create a namespace for our demo app and label the namespace for Istio sidecar injection. Now this is not required for the demo, but I just wanted to show you how you can enable Istio for our deployment. We'll go ahead and deploy the um, AKS store demo app using the all-in-one manifest. Okay, so we have a bunch of resources being deployed into our cluster. Now, the service actually deploys using load balancer type, which will give me a public IP address on Azure. I don't want that because I want to use the Istio ingress gateway. So what I can do is I can actually patch those services and set them back to cluster IP. So this will just be available from inside the cluster. The next thing that you want to do is you want to install the gateway API uh, CRDs. And as of the time of this recording, uh, the version that was out is version 1.1.1, but you can always head out to the GitHub uh, repo, go to the releases pages, and you'll find the latest installation. So we'll go ahead and uh, install all those resources into our cluster. And that way we can start working with gateways and HTTP routes. So. First thing that I'll want to do is I'll actually install a new gateway resource. And here's the key part. By default, the gateway will actually provision a deployment and a service for you to act as your uh, ingress point. But in this case, because we are using the AKS managed Istio ingress gateway, all we need to do here is basically point 
to the service that AKS already provisioned for us. And this way we'll just kind of like uh, attach to this particular service and use that as the entry point into the cluster. Um, all I'm doing here is I'm just putting a, uh, a wildcard host name so that all my resources can be available on this particular uh, DNS name. So we'll go ahead and deploy that. And then what we can do is we can actually just check on the gateway. And you can see here that the program status is set to true. So now we can actually work with uh, HTTP routes. So here I am creating uh, two routes. Uh, basically one for the storefront and one for the back end or the store admin. And I am basically saying, refer to the gateway that I just deployed that's inside of this namespace. And then for the host name, this will be available on store.aksrocks and then the other HTTP route will be available on admin.aksrocks. So we'll go ahead and deploy that. We give that just the second or two to provision and we can actually test it with a simple curl command. So what I can do is I can actually get the public IP of my AKS managed Istio ingress gateway, because remember that's our entry point into the cluster. And then I can actually issue a curl command using the ingress public IP. Uh, but because we don't have a real domain uh, associated with this, uh, I can pass in the, the host name into the curl command and it should be able to resolve. There we go. So looks like it was a success um, getting a 200 okay there. So we can be certain that the gateway API is actually working. And if you want to try it out from a browser, what you can do is you can actually take that public IP and write it into your host file. And so now I should be able to browse to these URLs using my web browser. So if I just click this link, there we go. So hopefully you can see how easy it is to get started with Gateway API on AKS. All we needed to do is install the CRDs into the cluster and then simply take advantage of all the underlying infrastructure that AKS installs and manages for us. If you haven't had a chance to read through the blog post yet, go to the URL. Actually, just go to aka.ms slash AKS slash blog. You should see the blog like right on the homepage here. So um, I highly encourage you to go check it out. Um, give it a try. Let us know if you have any feedback. And until next time, peace.